Today is May 17. I am Zuzana and this is Simon Says. Springtime in Edmonton is gorgeous. I am hunting for some spring blossoms for you as I am walking towards the quad. The quad is a hangout space for students. Normally it is the international students who remain on campus in the spring and the summertime. And uh, when you arrive one day, you might be one of them. The sweet grass bear statue is a reminder to all of us that we are all connected. The placement of this statue is part of university's efforts to show the reconciliation efforts with the indigenous peoples. This week at the Student Engagement Center, we are focusing on the international students. During the workshops, you will have a chance to meet an advisor in the listening lab. International Student Services Advisor will be able to help you with any questions you have regarding your studies here in Canada at the University of Alberta. In the writing workshop and conversation club, I'm hoping to have as much fun as last week. You were amazing students in the afternoon and the evening sessions. You really rock. In addition to the workshops, I think you should also know that you can make an appointment with me almost daily from 2 to 3 p.m. or at 9.30 p.m. for an additional practice of your skills or if you need to get some feedback. The Student Center online lesson will be focused on international students and so if you cannot come to the workshops, please do some tasks from the online lesson. By completing some tasks, you will learn more about the services that are available to you and at the same time you will practice your language. And look who is coming! Itsuho! One of our international students! How are you Itsuho? Good! Excellent! Let's have a chat together. Yeah. Itsuho, where do you live here on campus? I'm living the international house. It is a residence for international students. What do you think about international house? It's good and comfortable. Do you have any friends there? It's difficult to make many friends, but I have some. Where are they from? Nigeria, India, Egypt. Hmm. Can you hang out with them a little bit? Yeah, we, we meet inside the residence. Mm -hmm. And do you have a chance to explore the campus a little bit too? Mm, yes, I usually walk around the campus mm -hmm. and often go running. So you exercise, good for you, fantastic. Yes. Itsuho, do you have a message for other international students? Yeah, uh, I wish I could be here when there's no pandemic so I can ex experience more. Mm -hmm. I wish that for you as well. So I am hoping in September when things hopefully get back to normal, the campus will fill with students and you will be able to make your fantastic Canadian experience. I decided a peak university Alberta isolation plan. I think that uh, was a good choice because I didn't have any problems uh, at the moment that I was in the border. University uh, is really organizing with this. I think that one of the advantage of that problems have is that you could pick your food. So you can choose if you are gluten-free as me in my case I choose like uh, gluten-free food uh, so they have so many options in addition I think that university is a pretty safe place to do your isolation so they are there 24 hours if you need anything if you have any requests if, even if you could be sick or anything they are there for you to help you 
Finally, thank you everyone for your awesome contributions. I have received some fun photos from you. Thank you students who have collaborated with, with me to make this Simon Says a little bit more exciting. Keep your eyes open for this week's student challenge. Send me some pictures of some natural beauty that you see where you live. Have a great week. This was Simon Says.